for today's lesson, you are going to need the Zentangle examples that we did the last time. This lesson is tough. Ozzy says there will be no whining. You are gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, and either an ink pen or a black colored pencil or a black crayon. If you are up to the challenge of Zentangle, you can just use your whole sheet of paper. If you are a person who is not very patient, fold your paper in half. Draw the outline of an animal or an object. Draw lightly at first until you have it the way you want it and then make it a little bit darker. Remember, you can draw light until you get it right. Fill up the whole space of your paper. Here are just some ideas of things that you could draw that would look really cool with different zentangles inside of them. You don't have to do an animal, you can also just do an object. The next step for this drawing is to add lines inside of your object. This is gonna give you different areas in which you will do different zentangles. You can make it a part of the pattern of your object or just divide your object up. Here's another example. This one isn't an animal, it's just an object. And this is the way you would add the lines inside a large open area. This picture is way too small. You can hardly tell what it is and there's no room to add the tangles. This picture is big, but it has way too many lines. It would take forever to complete when you have to change your tangles. Each section that you made by adding those lines is going to be a different zentangle. You take your time and change your zentangles and complete your whole picture. Take your time and keep adding more tangles to each section. Fill in the rest of your object with more tangles. You can make up your own tangles too. It's just based on the use of line. Here are some more examples from the Zentangle book. If you'll notice, they are just based on lines. Please hold up your completed picture so that I can see your work. You are fabulous, my friends.